4080 performance for half the price? Let's talk about it. Before that, it's time to dump that slow old browser because Opera Desktop has everything you need and more. Opera is a great browser that's built from the ground up for speed, bringing all the functionality you want while using minimal resources. Not only that, but it has tons of great features like a customizable sidebar with integrated messages, your favorite apps, access to tech news directly from the start page, chat GPT AI tools, and even a built-in ad blocker for those really sketchy sites I caught you on. Plus, it's super easy to set up just how you want with themed wallpapers, dark mode so you can stop destroying your eyes, and the ability to import bookmarks and settings from other browsers, so there's no excuse not to switch. Plus, you can even listen to high-quality music through Spotify or Tidal while you browse the internet or work with just a click of a button, so there's no need to download extra apps and be running unnecessary programs in the background. So if you're looking for a browser that gives you more functionality and uses less precious system resources, be sure to click the link in the description below. Thank you to Opera for sponsoring this video. So everybody wants an RTX 4080. I mean, it makes sense. It has 16 gigabytes of VRAM, so you know it's going to last for a long time. It also has a lot of performance, and it also has more ray tracing performance than the AMD alternatives have. And wow, guys, I don't think you're going to be getting the same ray tracing performance for $600 anytime soon. There is actually a decent possibility that you could be seeing some GPUs from both Intel and possibly even AMD that could be giving you that level of performance for yes, $600. And in today's video, we're going to discuss exactly how. And first, let's go ahead and start off by talking about AMD because honestly, guys, they could be giving you that card right now, and here's why. Now, this actually all started when I read an article over on HardwareTimes.com where they stated that the AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT may only be 10 to 15% faster than the RX 6800 XT, which definitely isn't great. And to be honest, with you guys, if they actually go ahead and use that leaked die that was in that Forbes video, it could actually be even slower than that. We could be talking about the 7800 XT only being as fast as the 6800 XT, so they definitely would need to bring it in at a much lower price if that was to be the case, but let's go ahead and say that it is 10 to 15% faster. Now, they actually got this information from an Igor's Lab video where he essentially created what he thought the 7800 XT would be with what I believe was some sort of a workstation pro type of GPU. And what he found is that it could be 10 to 15% faster, at least according to the article. Now, this is based off of a GPU that has 70 compute units and in fact is a cut down Navi 31 GPU, or at least that's what it appears to be. And if that is the case, guys, and they cut the Navi 31 GPU down all the way to a 256 bit bus with 16 gigabytes of VRAM and 70 compute units, Yes, this is probably the performance that you're going to end up seeing, and hopefully this is what we get out of the 7800 XT and not something even slower than that. But the funny thing about this, guys, is if this is a cut down Navi 31 die, and they are going to go ahead and sell it for that $550 to $600, you know what that means? That means they can sell you the 7900 XTX for $550 and still be making money. Yes, you heard me correctly, AMD could be selling you their top-end flagship GPU, which out of the box competes with the RTX 4080 for just $550. Now, is AMD going to actually sell you their 7900 XTX for $550? And honestly, guys, someday, probably yes, they probably will be doing that. I mean, if we take a look at their last generation cards, they are at a fraction of the price that they came at when they originally launched those cards. So yeah, I do believe that AMD will get close to that $600 with the 7900 XTX at some point, it just depends on when. Is it gonna be happening next month? Probably not. Is it gonna be happening in a year? I hope it doesn't take that long, but it could be that maybe by the beginning of next year, you see at least the 7900 XT, which in my testing can be overclocked to get very close to the 4080 for around $600. I could definitely see that happening, potentially even as early as maybe around Christmas time of this year. So if you're someone who's looking for an AMD graphics card and you do want that RTX 480 level of performance, I do think you could be getting it 
for half the price in not too long. And honestly, this is just really frustrating because AMD comes out every single generation. They have a fantastic architecture in one way, shape, or form, but they always have been butchering it, at least recently, with their insane launch prices. It just makes no sense. If they're going to go ahead and drop the price drastically over the next, you know, six to 12 months, why even release it at such a ludicrously high price? Are they just trying to milk their most rabid fans? I mean, that just seems really bad to do to the people who want you to succeed. And this is the frustrating thing about AMD because they get all this bad press and they could have just launched it for much, much cheaper. Because imagine if they brought out the 7900 XT at $600 and then people were overclocking it to be as fast as the 4080. Yeah, that would have completely changed the way people saw the RX 7900 XT. But no, they wanted to try and charge an insane $900. But guys, AMD is not the only one that could be bringing you 4080 performance for around $600. No, Intel is also another option that hopefully by the beginning of next year, but no later than quarter two of 2024, at least if we were to believe the leaks from people such as Red Gaming Tech, yeah, Intel will have new GPUs out in the Battle Mage series at that time. And guys, it's supposed to be getting performance somewhere around the 4070 Ti to the RTX 4080 if you go ahead and do the math, because at least as far as all the leaks are concerned and my own speculation, I do believe they are going to be getting double the amount of cores in their Battle Mage series of GPUs, and they will still have 16 gigabytes of VRAM, making it a fantastic option for those of you out there who don't want to have to worry about your VRAM either. So both AMD and Intel will have that 16 gigabyte card with at least close to the performance of an RTX 4080 from both sides, and they will be giving it to you I believe by the beginning of next year for around $600. I do think that is gonna be the case from both companies. And honestly, on the side of Intel, it's gonna be very, very exciting to see just how close they can get. And I think it's even more likely that you'll see it from Intel than you'll see it from AMD. I mean, maybe AMD won't quite get there. Maybe they'll get down to like $650, but I do believe that Intel will be giving you that for $550 to $600. And guys, when that happens, it is going to be absolutely insane. I think a lot of people are going to rush out to buy these graphics cards because Intel's drivers have improved substantially since the release of their Arc GPUs. And I think if they only continue to get better and they launch very, very well with their Battle Mage series cards and they're giving you a lot more performance, a lot of people, myself included, are going to be very interested to see what their flagship Battle Mage card is capable of. Honestly, even if it can only reach the performance levels of a 4070 Ti, which I think is a realistic target, well, if it's 550 bucks, that is going to be a hands down screaming deal that a lot of people should, in my opinion, definitely be waiting for. So if you're someone who's out there and you want a higher performance card and you're okay with waiting, I do think it is a good idea to wait for either price drops from AMD as it seems like their 7900 XT is dropping and even the XTX every single week or month. And if you're willing to wait and potentially try out another option, then yes, Intel should have you covered as well with their Battle Mage series of GPUs. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that AMD and Intel really will be able to bring you 4080 performance for around half the price? Or do you think they're going to try and overcharge you as well? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.